Ski jumping. Ski jumping is a winter sport in which competitors aim to achieve the longest jump after descending from a specially designed ramp on their skis. Along with jump length, competitors' style and other factors affect the final score. Ski jumping was first contested in Norway in the late 19th century, and later spread through Europe and North America in the early 20th century. Along with cross country skiing, it constitutes the traditional group of Nordic skiing disciplines. The ski jumping venue, commonly referred to as a hill, consists of the jumping ramp, takeoff table, and a landing hill. Each jump is evaluated according to the distance traveled and the style performed. The distance score is related to the construction point, which is a line drawn in the landing area and serves as a target for the competitors to reach. The score of each judge evaluating the style can reach a maximum of 20 points. The jumping technique has evolved over the years, from jumps with the parallel skis with both arms pointing forwards, to the V-style, which is widely used today. Ski jumping has been included at the Winter Olympics since 1924 and at the FIS Nordic World Ski Championships since 1925. Women's participation in the sport began in the 1990s, while the first women's event at the Olympics has been held in 2014. All major ski jumping competitions are organized by the International Ski Federation. Stefan Kraft holds the official record for the world's longest ski jump with, set on the ski flying hill in Vikersund in 2017. Ski jumping can also be performed in the summer on an in run where the tracks are made from porcelain and the grass on the slope is covered with water soaked plastic. The highest level summer competition is the Fist Ski Jumping Grand Prix, contested since 1994. Like most of the Nordic skiing disciplines, the first ski jumping competitions were held in Norway in the 19th century, although there is evidence of ski jumping in the late 18th century. The recorded origins of the first ski jump trace back to 1808, when Olaf Fry reached. Sandre Norheim, who is regarded as the father of the modern ski jumping, won the first ever ski jumping competition with prizes, which was held in Hoydalsmo in 1866. The first larger ski jumping competition was held on Husbyrenet Hill in Oslo, Norway, in 1875. Due to its poor infrastructure and the weather conditions, in 1892 the event was moved to Holmenkollen, which is today still one of the main ski jumping events in the season. In the late 19th century, Sandre Norheim and Nordic skier Carl Havelson immigrated to the United States and started developing the sport in that country. In 1924, ski jumping was featured at the 1924 Winter Olympics in Chamonix, France. The sport has been featured at the Every Olympics since. Ski jumping was brought to Canada by Norwegian emigrant Nels Nelson. Starting with his example in 1915 until late 1960s, annual ski jumping competitions were held on Mount Revelstoke, the ski hill Nelson designed, the longest period of any Canadian ski jumping venue. Revelstokes was the biggest natural ski jump hill in Canada and internationally recognized as one of the best in North America. The length and natural grade of its hill made possible jumps of over the longest in Canada. It was also the only hill in Canada where world ski jumping records were a set, in 1916, 1921, 1925, 1932, and 1933. In 1935, the origins of the ski flying began in Planica, Slovenia, where Joseph Bradl became the first competitor in history to jump over. At the same venue, the first official jump over was achieved in 1994, when Tony Nieminen landed at 203 meters. In 1964 in Zakopane, Poland, the large hill event was introduced at the FIS Nordic World Ski Championships. In the same year, the normal hill event was included in the Olympic program at the 1964 Winter Olympics. The team event was added later, at the 1988 Winter Olympics. A ski jumping hill is located on a steep slope, and it consists of the jumping ramp, takeoff table, and a landing hill. Competitors glide down from a common point at the top of the in run achieving considerable speeds at the takeoff table, where they take off with help off speed in their own leap. While airborne, they maintain an aerodynamic position with their bodies and skis, that would allow them to maximize the length of the jump. The landing slope is constructed so that the jumper's trajectory is near parallel with it, and the athlete's relative height to the ground is gradually lost, allowing for a gentle and safe landing. The landing space is followed by an outrun a substantial flat or counter incline area that permits the skier to safely slow down. The outrun area is fenced and surrounded by a public auditorium. The slopes are classified according to the distance that the competitors travel in the air.
between the end of the table and the landing. Each hill has a construction point, which serves as a target that the competitor should reach. The classification of the hills are as follows. Competitors are ranked according to a numerical score obtained by adding up components based on distance, style, in run length, and wind conditions. In the individual event, the scores from each skier's two competition jumps are combined to determine the winner. Distance score depends on the hill's K point. For K90 and K120 competitions, the K point is set at 90 meters and 120 meters, respectively. Competitors are awarded 60 points and 120 points if they land on the K point. For every meter beyond the K point, the competitor is awarded extra points. The typical value is 2 points per meter in small hills, 1.8 points in large hills, and 1.2 points in ski flying hills. A competitor's distance is measured between the takeoff and the point where the feet came in full contact with the landing slope. Jumps are measured with accuracy of 0.5 meters for all competitions. During the competition, five judges are based in a tower to the side of the expected landing point. They can award up to 20 points each for jumping style, based on keeping the skis steady during flight, balance, optimal body position, and landing. The highest and lowest style scores are disregarded, with the remaining three scores added to the distance score. Gait and wind factors were introduced by the 2009 rules, to allow fairer comparison of results for a scoring compensation for variable outdoor conditions. Aerodynamics and takeoff speed are important variables that affect the jump length. And if weather conditions change during a competition, the conditions will not be the same for all competitors. Gate factor is an adjustment made when the in-run length is adjusted from the initial position in order to provide optimal takeoff speed. Since higher gates result in higher takeoff speeds, and therefore present an advantage to competitors, points are subtracted when the starting gate is moved up, and added when the gate is lowered. An advanced calculation also determines compensation points for the actual unequal wind conditions at the time of the jump. These points are added or withdrawn from the original scores of the individual jump according to the wind conditions, when there is back wind, the points are added, and when there is front wind, the points are subtracted. Wind speed and direction are measured at five different points based on average value, which is determined before every competition. If two or more competitors finish the competition with the same number of points, they are given the same placing and receive same prizes. Ski jumpers below the minimum safe body mass index are penalized with a shorter maximum ski length, reducing the aerodynamic lift they can achieve. These rules have been credited with stopping the most severe cases of underweight athletes, but some competitors still lose weight to maximize the distance they can achieve. In order to prevent an unfair advantage due to a sailing effect of the ski jumping suit, material, thickness and relative size of the suit are regulated. Each jump is divided into four parts, in run, takeoff, flight, and landing. By using the V-style, firstly pioneered by Swedish ski jumper Jan Baklov in the mid-1980s, modern skiers are able to exceed the distance of the takeoff hill be about 10% compared to the previous technique with parallel skis. Previous techniques included the Kongsberger technique, the Desker technique and the Windish technique. Until the mid-1960s, the ski jumper came down the in run of the hill with both arms pointing forwards. This changed when the Dasher technique was pioneered by Andreas Dasher in the 1950s, as a modification of the Kongsberger and Windisch techniques. A lesser used technique as of 2017 is the H style, which is essentially a combination of the parallel and V styles, in which the skis are spread very wide apart and held parallel in an H shape. It is prominently used by Doman Prevts. Skiers are required to touch the ground in the Telemark landing style. Named after the Norwegian county of Telemark. This involves the landing with one foot in front of the other with knees slightly bent, mimicking the style of Telemark skiing. Failure to execute a Telemark landing leads to the deduction of style points, issued by the judges. All major ski jumping competitions are organized by the International Ski Federation. The Large Hill Ski Jumping event was included at the Winter Olympic Games for the first time in 1924, and has been contested at every Winter Olympics since then. The Normal Hill event was added in 1964. Since 1992, the Normal Hill event is contested at the K90 size hill. Previously, it was contested at the K60 hill. Women's debuted at the Winter Olympics in 2014. The FIS Ski Jumping World Cup has been contested since the 1979 80 season. It runs between November and March every season, and consists of 25 to 30 competitions at most prestigious hills across Europe, United States, and Japan. 
competitors are awarded a fixed number of points in each event according to their ranking, and the overall winner is the one with most accumulated points. This Ski Flying World Cup is contested as a sub-event of the World Cup, and competitors collect only the points scored at Ski Flying Hills from the calendar. The ski jumping at the FIS Nordic World Ski Championships was first contested in 1925. The team event was introduced in 1982, while the women's event was first held in 2009. The FIS Ski Flying World Championships was first contested in 1972 in Planica. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.